I had my first guitar when I was nine years old, but I stopped playing for a bit and then picked it up again when I was 16, and I haven't stopped since. I think of it as a way of expressing your feelings that words can't do. If I'm feeling a bit more emotional, I'll play slow stuff with all the settings and weird delays and everything, quite melodic. And if I'm feeling happy, I'll thrash the guitar a bit more, you know, turn the gain up a bit. The first musical instrument I played was acoustic guitar when I was about 10, when I said 10, 11. And I've played that ever since, but about two years ago when I left school, I haven't really had the time for it anymore, so it's not as big of a part of my life really. My interest started with guitar only maybe a year ago. A lot of my friends play guitar, and I'd had a guitar sitting about in my room for a long time, but I'd only really got into it when um, I'd gone around to my friend's house. It just kind of blew me away how they could play these songs like, like it was nothing at all. It was a big part of our, our friend group at the time. It was kind of like a jealousy thing, if I'm honest, because like, like, that's kind of what forced me into it. So I'd had that guitar there, but I'd never really played it like I pretended to. But then when I started to learn it and I could play like a few simple songs, it like showed me that you can you can do anything on it really. John Fronte is the um, lead guitarist of the Chili Peppers. He was from 1986 to 1999 and then from 2004 to 2006. He used triads instead of four chords, so instead of playing a four chord, he would play the root note, the fifth and the third of that note, which made it the brighter sound of it, which I do try and take inspiration from now. It was brilliant. Everything he did was unbelievable, even the solo work. It's hard to pick a best song ever written, but um, the songwriters I mainly who go down in history is like the best songwriters is people like John Lennon, people like maybe people like Kurt Cobain for some people, because he's considered as like the John Lennon of the generation as well, um, for many different reasons. I think they're always the main two that I've identified with growing up. Ben Howard really connects with me when I'm like a bit sad or a bit down. Mount Joy is like quite a small band, but they've only got four songs, but each four songs like kind of represents an emotion. So that, that really helps. Um, I think the Red Hot Chili Peppers with, uh, I'd say probably either Charlie or Cabron is probably the two best songs that I've ever heard. There's a, a Kings of Leon album that I can listen to on repeat because it's, um, it's the progression through it's unbelievable and um, I like a lot of Oasis but I wouldn't say that any of their songs are like incredibly written. The thing with modern music is there's not that much creativity it's all very like to me the music in the charts all sounds the same nobody's taking risks anymore nobody's um, really putting themselves out there and like making themselves a character Apart from like maybe Lady Gaga, because she's like, um, like I don't like her music, but she's created herself a persona, which I believe like 20 years ago everybody had, but now it's just like all these people in the same category. So as far as influencing people, I don't see them being as influential as like bands or musicians 20, 30 years ago. I think it's a, a lot easier to, anyone could go up to a keyboard and play a few notes and be like, oh. That sounds good, I have no theory behind it, I have no knowledge of what I'm playing. But it sounds good, I can make a song out of that. I think at the moment, like again looking at music face value with the pop on the radio and all this type of stuff, that'll never stop because people were saying the same when the Beatles were on the radio, they were saying, you know, the classic was the, the rock back then. And you know, obviously not everyone, you can't please everyone with music, but I feel like um, we are due another big band in rock to come up and like blow the scene apart and blow it out wide again like um, the Rolling Stones did and like the Beatles did in the way that um, it's a new thing, no one's, no one's taking risks, no one's showing you know any kind of passion towards it, it's just like, it's kind of like a printing press where it's just the same thing going out every day just to make money. I think in the music industry people are giving better chances for maybe the way they look or just the potential like fan base like people like Justin Bieber like were famous because t like every teenage girl at some point has wanted to like be with Justin Bieber so he's probably been someone who maybe didn't deserve it as much as uh, like a less talented person but it's more business these days it's for who has who can sell the most t-shirts who can sell the most like merchandise the, le like, the best songwriters probably are just playing in pubs somewhere instead of like music award shows. 
I, I think there's always going to be bands that don't need, or don't get as much recognition, or artists don't get as much recognition as they should do. But in terms of pop culture, yeah, it's going to get awful. My favourite guitarist is probably Jimi Hendrix. I know that sounds really like really cliche, but a lot of the work he did was like if you if you listen to a song at face value, then it's like an okay song. But if you delve into like the mechanics and the theory behind each song that he wrote. It's, it's a, like an unbelievable experience. I think that anyone who hasn't like delved into Jimi Hendrix's back catalogue really think about going for that. I see it as an art in the way that it's a passion project for everyone that's involved. And I think that's why a lot of bands have fights and fall out because it's, it's very much, it's filled with emotions. Like some people it's Hendrix, some people it's Clapton, some people it's Mark Knopfler. Just listen to them, listen to the way that they, the emotions they put into the guitar. Everything they do is just listen to that and then if you don't feel inspired, inspired, then it's not for you. I'd hope to get back into music like I was when I was like 13, 14, because that was probably the main thing in my life back then. Like when I used to write, when I was in like year 10, that used to be like the main thing I'd enjoy doing. And obviously at the minute I haven't had time to do that, but hopefully in the next years to come, I'll be able to make time for it and um, give myself more of a chance to be successful. I've, I've got a few projects on the go that could, if successful, lead to a career. Media is the only other real thing. I'd, I'd quite like to start a business if music went down the drain, but there's a lot going for me at the moment. I've got a lot of options open for music. I stick mainly to the guitar, like acoustic and electric. I'm still not, you know, I've only had like six or seven months playing, but I really enjoy it. I think that if I keep going at the rate I am now, I think um, I, can, I can get somewhere with it. If I lay here If I just lay